Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get screen space position? We're actually going to cover two nodes in this video: the get screen space position and the get last screen space position node. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens. Whenever I move my mouse, I'm basically getting the pointer event, asking for the screen space position, asking for the last screen space position, and then putting it on the screen. And this occurs every time the mouse moves. Now, if you notice, for the most part, these values tend to be the same. And I'll cover why that is here in a second. But what this node does is it gives you the position of the input in screen space coordinates. Now it has a pointer reference, pointer event structure reference from where it gets its input. Usually this is going to be from something like an input event. In this case, on my mouse move, I'm getting it from the mouse event. If you use something such as like touch down, for example, these other ones here, you have like, for example, the touch started and things like that. You're going to have input events that you can get the movement from as well. But since I'm on the PC showing this, I'm getting the mouse movement event screen space position. Now screen space is not the space for your game. It is the space for the entire screen. So the top left to the bottom right of this current monitor. Now, of course, you can only track it when you're inside of the window. That's why when I leave, it stops tracking. But if we were to maximize this, you can see the bottom right is going to end up being 1920 by 1050. Actually, 1080 if I can get in the right spot. There we go. If you look in the top left, it'll say 1919 by 1079. Of course, it is a zero-based array, so it's 0 to 1919 and 0 to 1079. If we go to the top left, it'll be 00, zero but we're not going to get anything above 24 because this title bar does not capture input. Therefore, I'm only going to be able to get 24. If this was running full screen, of course, you will get the entire thing. So that's what it does. Now, the last screen space position, if we look at the code in here, it returns the position of the cursor in screen space the last time we handled an input event. Because I'm only having one input event here inside of my code, these are basically returning the same. However, I can actually show you giving different results if I quickly go to the top bar and look at our second result. You can see the second result has a Y of 194, whereas the last time it was a Y of 195. There are multiple events processing at all points in time, multiple input events. My mouse move, my clicking up and down, my scroll mouse, things like that. So there's more than one input event handling and firing off and consuming input and handling input. That's why when I move it like this and let it sit, you're going to see the same values because the last input was technically this last time we moved it. And the actual change is way down farther. So if again, I can quickly move up and you can see that the last version for the second to last is different. That's because the note itself works that way. So that's going to wrap up this video. The screen space position getter nodes are useful if you need to know where on the screen the input event is coming in. Remember, this is an input event. It's going to take in a pointer event structure. So things such as the um, touches will work as well.